In this video, we look at the switching timer period use case for the AVR timer counters. So once this program is running, I'll push a button and toggle the timeout frequency between 500 and 100 milliseconds. So opening again the API reference for the timer, and here we're going to look at the switching a timer period between 100 and 500 milliseconds. Now this follows directly on from the 100 millisecond timer, so we're going to assume that we have the setup of the 100 millisecond timer, although the description of the configuration here is standalone, so you can come straight into this use case and uh, configure as instructed. Note we do have a system clock control assumption here of 1 megahertz, and that is largely due to the definition of 100 and 500 milliseconds as very specific numbers. So we are fixing the system frequency and the prescaler. But let's get into it. OK, so clock control, and we are going for 1 megahertz. And with the prescaler as it was before, we now have the ability to go up to 500 milliseconds. So that's great. The other thing that we need in this use case is a button or a switch. And so going to our schematics, we can see that there is a switch on PB2 and that the switch is a debug GPIO as well as the LED. If we look at the switch, if we push the button in, it will pull the pin low. So we'll look for an interrupt on a falling edge and also that a pull-up is needed on the switch. So PB2, we set that as an input. Open the pins window. PB2, we'll name SW. We needed a pull up, so we enable that. And in terms of an interrupt, we wanted an interrupt on a falling edge. Okay, that's our configuration done. Let's generate code. So the main currently is what you would have if you had completed the 100 millisecond timer use case. But the code snippets here are complete, so one can start from this point. So I'll copy the first onto my clipboard. And here we are just adding to the code that is there with a couple of defines for periods to blink the LEDs and some flags we'll use in our application. The timer callback has been renamed without the underscore 100 milliseconds since it's more generic. So we'll paste this over the previous callback. In our main, we register callbacks for both the timer and the switch. And then if a change period is set, which is basically all we're doing in the switch callback, then we will call timer change frequency. So as we scroll up, no real uh, red underlining anywhere. So let's program the board. OK, let's open the data visualizer, go to GPIO, display raw. And we can see that as we well, looking at the lead, the behavior looks correct. Let's just add the switch on the bottom. Yeah, and the behavior looks as expected.